Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate it if you would subscribe if you haven't already. So I wanted to make a video, I've never done this before, on what I think the best kayak for a new angler for a new angler to get into. It's an incredibly difficult question to answer because not everybody, there's different budgets, different fishing styles, and different bodies of water that you fish. So, so I will give a couple of recommendations at the end, but I, I want to start out by saying, because my first kayak was a lifetime Tamarack angler, so and now I've been through all different kinds of kayaks. So it's really whatever gets you on the water. And I truly mean that. There's, there's going to be, I would say, some minimum things that you want. One, do some reviews. Yeah, like search reviews, search Google, search Facebook groups. First, you want to try a kayak that's going to be dry. Dry in the hole, not so much water in your feet, and definitely one that has a chair that's sitting up. You don't want one that's a seat with padding molded into the kayak. Absolutely uncomfortable. You won't be able to fish more in two or three hours, probably. It's just not a comfortable thing. So you really want one with a lawn chair style chair in it. Those are always going to be the most comfortable. So that would be the first place I'd start. If you can go from just the least expensive you know, if you have the budget, because you all, I know you're just getting into it. There's a lot of things like paddle, PFD, your life jacket. Uh, there's so many, you know, straps, crates, whatever it is that you're going to need. I wouldn't put all my money into the kayak first. First, I'd probably buy a really good paddle, a really good life jacket, because like a Chinook, a Kokatat, a Astral, any of those three are going to be good. I would definitely say one with some kind of flotation, not an inflatable. I personally think that those aren't, you know, the best or safest for kayak fishing. I think it's best to have one that, that's a, that's got foam in it rather than one that once it hits the water, it inflates or you have to manually do it yourself. I, I just, I'd rather not do that. And I've had them. I started out with foam, went to inflatable, and now I'm back at foam. I just think it's the best choice for a kayak angler. And I have a wife and son. I want to come home to them. I want to go out on the water, but still be able to come home to them and haven't had fun and be as safe as I can. And things can happen out there. I've seen it. You can get into trouble really quick, especially with moving water or in the colder weather months like we're in right now. So that would be my first thing would be spend the money on a life jacket, spend the money on the paddle, and tr a good place to probably find your first kayak is going to be Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, especially if the, in the winter. If you're thinking about getting into it right now, I'm recording this in between Christmas and New Year's. Fantastic time of the year. I actually usually buy a few kayaks in the winter and then sell them in the spring because you can just make money on them. It's like a little way I make you know, a few hundred dollars every year to put back into fishing. If you have the money to do it, everybody tries to sell kayaks in the winter, it's easy to do. So, you know, the winter is the best time to buy a kayak. Now, so which kayak, really any kayak you can get into, anything that will get you on the water is the right choice. First and foremost, even if it is that lifetime sun dolphin, get yourself on the water, it doesn't matter. You can use, especially if you buy them used, you can usually sell it and not take too big of a hit on it. So it's not that big of a deal if you get a kayak that's just trash because people are usually looking for trash kayaks to get into it. I don't mean trash, I just mean not nearly on the same level as like uh, upper tier or like a name brand kayak. So. I've said a couple of things that you're going to need in it. You want it to be dry in the hull. If it's filling up with water, you don't want it. You want a lawn, stair, lawn chair style, you know, sitting upright chair that's really comfortable to you that you could be in for hours at a time. Those would be the biggest two. Uh, some brands that you can look at would be, that are always going to be good, would be Hobie, obviously. You know, they're the most expensive, but 
great kayaks if you can find one out back especially that would be you know an excellent first kayak pro angler if you want to spend the money but they have other ones or you can find a used one just you know Hobie that would be an excellent first kayak if you could Jackson new canoe old town old town is probably the best value kayaks on the market I've owned three of them myself loved them they, I think they have the best centrifugal style pedal drive kayak on the market the most durable cheapest parts um, a lot of other manufacturers like Navarra kayak fishing make um, aftermarket parts form great uh, Facebook groups so you can get more information and videos on YouTube about how to rig them things like that so YouTube like places from like the dugout uh, that would be a great place to get um, an old town a first kayak and if you are anywhere near the uh, Marietta Georgia kind of Northwest Georgia area Tennessee Mississippi Alabama um, you know, so even South Carolina, you can drive there and they have a pond and you can test drive them, uh, test them out in their pond there. So great place to do it. And you can also fish if you want to pay. Um, but you, and you can go there and jewel over all the Hobies and all the cool gear that they have. But so that there's, I would really go with name brand. So like I said, New Canoe, Old Town, Hobie, Jackson those would probably be the biggest four for me uh, and if you're looking just for paddle kayak uh, there's a lot of used ones on the market like tripper jackson tripper um, at kilroy those are older kayaks where they're more canoe style if you're coming from a canoe and that's something you want you know may, maybe making that transition be easy for you that would be a good choice uh, but there's a lot of jacksons the chairs are, to me are usually the downfall usually have to have padding or a second strap you have to repair the straps I have a couple of Jacksons I've owned more um, just some seat issues has been the problem I've had with them but great kayaks besides that um, great team great people there's also always great Facebook groups and um, kinda they have a lot of people on their Jackson team so if you reach out in a group you can usually find somebody in your area that has one that will let you try it out if you're looking to buy a new one or shop like I said like at the dugout great dealer and you can go get one right there so that would be good Jackson new canoe is good because you can always add a motor or pedal drive after um, so they're really versatile power pedal paddle I think that's our saying really great for upgrading later um, pursuits very fast I've owned one of those very fast great paddling kind of like a hot rod paddling kayak not the most stable but a good kayak the Frontier super stable unlimited another I think that's kind of the tournament kayak for um, most new canoe people nowadays Old Town you can look at either the Sportsman 106 120 or the Big Water PDL, Big Water super fast, five mile an hour kayak. They have the new EPDL if you want to spend all the money where it's got to integrate electric drive into the PDL drive system. Uh, great kayak, Hobie. Obviously, you have old, um, you know, a Outback and the Pro Angler. Those are upper tier. If you're lighter or you do ponds, things like that, a Lynx would be a great choice. But, uh, but that's really it. You're more than welcome to put any questions down in the comments. If I have a, you know, maybe there's some experience I have with that kayak or I can send you in the right direction, please ask a question below. I'll do my best to answer it or other people in the community. Maybe they can answer questions as well. Uh, but go out and check the Facebook groups, check Facebook Marketplace, check Craigslist, wherever, you know, whatnot, wherever people buy things online nowadays. Uh, but really any kayak that will get you on the water is okay in my book and if you like it stick with it Just try to find a ch uh, the biggest thing make sure it's dry no holes <laughs> obviously and that as you it's got a comfortable seat that's it's just going to make it funner I think a lot of time I'll, the last thing I'll say is some a lot of people are going to think and the first thing people ask is how stable is it how stable is that kayak? And I really went, I've kind of went all the way through. I'm a bigger guy. Um, 
and I've went from super stable kayaks whenever I first started because I thought that was the thing you know you don't want to lose all your stuff and you don't you want to have one that has a reasonable amount of stability but also too whenever you do that you're going to be giving up a lot of speed a lot of maneuverability a lot of uh, just all the things that make a kayak a kayak if you just buy a barge and you try to paddle a barge it's going to be a bitch to paddle around it's if it's got big high sides it's probably going to get caught by wind and turn you around um, you know it's going to be very hard to stay in position anywhere at all so yeah um, get a kayak there you go if you have any questions put them below um, a name brand would be best that would be probably my suggestion because the resale value is going to be higher so if you can get a decent deal on it used or get a new one then there, it's going to be easier to sell because if you do get into it like I have you're probably going to go through a lot of kayaks to find one that suits you a little bit more so uh, so yeah uh, a name brand would be that would probably be my best suggestion is dry hull good seat name brand just because it's easier to sell later down the road because eventually you'll change and you'll decide you want this or you like this kind of fishing or uh, you like moving water rather than a lakes or whatever it is however you decide you're fishing wherever your fishing takes you so uh, like I said please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already put your questions below I'll do my best to answer them and see you on the next one thanks